Welcome back here, Clicks fans. Today I'm going to cover two new combat abilities, Merge and Split. In the last couple of sets, we have been introduced to figures that can split and merge just like these two firestorms can merge into fury. Other figures would be Ant-Man and Wasp, Vision and Scarlet Witch, Doom and Kang, Wonder Man and Scarlet Witch, Sentry and Void. These are some new combat abilities and a lot of times new combat abilities take a little bit of time to learn and see how they work. This video will teach you how to use split and merge. So for the first example, we are gonna merge Vision and Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is on our 50 point dial, and this Vision is the gravity feed version from Chaos Wars at 130. The combined total is 180. Let's read merge. When this character is adjacent to another friendly character that each represent one distinct qualifying character listed on a duo character's card, and all of them have no action tokens, give this character a free action to replace all of them with the duo character. The same number of clicks from its starting line as this character. The combined point value of the qualifying characters must equal to or greater the point value of the duo character. Unless the duo character previously used the split ability to be replaced by these same characters. The duo character can't use the split ability this turn. This ability can't be countered. So to paraphrase this, we have Scarlet Witch at 50 points, Vision at 130. The total is 180. We want to merge these two characters into this duo figure, Scarlet Witch and Vision. That duo figure is 180. So the combined total of Vision and Scarlet Witch equal to that duo figure. So these two figures are allowed to merge into this duo figure. So let's perform this merge combat ability. And it only can be done when they have no tokens on both characters and both characters need to be adjacent to one another. They both have no tokens so they can do this. Give Vision a free action and then replace these two figures with the duo figure. The duo figure comes into the game on the same click as the figure you activate the power with. Vision was on his first click, so the duo figure comes in on its first click. Also, I wanna note, if you activate this power with Vision and say he's on his third click, then the duo figure will come in on its third click. So you wanna activate this power with the character that's on its first click or nearest the top of its dial. To give a second example of the merge combat ability, Ant-Man at 43 points and Wasp at 50 points equals 93 points. Can they merge into the Ant-Man and Wasp duo figure that is 168? If you said no they can't, then you are correct. The two figures that merge into the duo figure have to exceed or equal the amount of the duo figure. They do not meet or exceed that. Is there any other combination of Ant-Man and Wasp that you can merge into the Ant-Man and Wasp? Let's look. We have an Ant-Man at 75 points and a Wasp at 77 points. That also does not equal to 168. So these figures will not be able to merge as well. But I wanna note, when you read the merge ability, it does say the only way that these two Ant-Man and Wasp figures can merge into this Ant-Man and Wasp duo figure is if previously this Ant-Man and Wasp duo figure split into these two figures and then later on these two figures can then merge back into this figure. But as it is, they can't start out this way. Another thing that I wanna cover is when you activate the merge into Fury with the two Firestorms, it is a free action. So you would give either one of these Firestorms the free action and then you would merge. Now with Fury on the map and it was a free action to get him in there, he now is able to be given a power action and Fury will now pulse wave on Ant-Man and Wasp. 11 attack on an 18. So this is another cool thing to let you guys know is when you merge the character that you 
bring out the duo figure, or in this case, Fury, which is kind of a giant meshed into one figure. When they come into the game, they can be given an action. They can either move, they can attack, they can do a number of things, but they are allowed to be given an action because the merge is a free action. So let's move on to the split combat ability. This might help you fully understand how to use the merge and then use split. So let's cover split. Give this character a power action if it has no action tokens. This figure has no action tokens, so we will give it a power action. Replace this character with one or more qualifying characters from each of the different entry listed on the character's card. The qualifying replacement characters must have either qualifying name and total no more than the character's point value unless those characters previously used the merge ability to be replaced by this character. Replacement characters are assigned an action token and can't be given an action this turn. Replacement characters begin a number of clicks from their starting line equal to the number of clicks from this character's starting line. This ability can't be countered. So we gave Fury a power action to use the split. Now we bring in both of the Firestorms that he split into. They each now have an action token and cannot be given an action token this turn. And they come in on their dial wherever Fury left off. He left off on his first click, so they both come in on their first click. If he left on their second click, they both would come in on their second click. 